Evacuations continue in Afghanistan less than 24 hours after a deadly suicide bombing attack at the Kabul airport. At least 60 Afghans and more than a dozen U.S. soldiers were killed. This morning, President Biden is promising to track down the terrorists responsible and vowing they will not stop airlifts out of the region. NBC's Jay Gray has the latest. Hey there, good morning, Aisha. Before yesterday's attack, it had been 565 days since a U.S. soldier had died in Afghanistan. Now, in what's supposed to be the final days of evacuations there, the mission has changed dramatically. The first blast was just outside the main gate at the Kabul airport. The second, near a crowded hotel about 100 yards away. The attack, one of the deadliest in the two decades U.S. troops have been on the ground in Afghanistan. More than 60 civilians killed, at least 13 American soldiers dead, more than a dozen injured. In the wake of the deadly rampage, the commander-in-chief showing a full range of emotion. They're the spine of America, the best the country has to offer. The pain of loss followed minutes later by the promise of justice. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. ISIS has claimed responsibility for what it calls the martyrdom operation. U.S. military leaders warning. The threat from ISIS is extremely real. We expect those attacks to continue, and we're doing everything we can to be prepared for those attacks. While continuing airlifts, the White House saying around 7,500 people were evacuated in a 12-hour period after the attack. Still, though, more than 1,000 American citizens remain in the region, more than 100,000 Afghans who supported U.S. troops. The challenge is complete the extraction of U.S. forces and then deal with the consequences in a sensible way. And getting them out is going to be a lot tougher now. The president says he will stick to his end-of-the-month deadline, leaving just four days now to get civilians, about 6,000 U.S. troops, and all their equipment out of Afghanistan. In Washington, I'm Jay Gray. Aisha, back to you now. Thank you, Jay. And we know this story is constantly developing around the clock. And when we are not here on air with you, you can head to 11alive.com for the very latest updates.